Despite harsh economic times experienced last year, Pan-African Reinsurance Group Zipri has announced an increase in full-year net profit to 1.99 billion shillings. The group attributes the growth to increase in infrastructure developments in Kenya, Uganda, Sudan and India, as well as expanding service sector in most member countries. The company also recorded a 10% increase in its gross premiums to 13.8 billion shillings. Speaking at the company's 25th annual general meeting, Zipri's board chairman William Eri said this was despite the global economic situation that negatively impacted economies of the region resulting in slowdowns, reduced consumption and a weakening of local currencies. It is a major trading partner to our region. Uh, we had the Eurozone crisis due to the crisis in Greece. Um, also the dollar gained strength is against uh, our currencies. All these led to uh, economic uh, environment in which we operate to be quite difficult. The farm also had to deal with the effects of two major earthquakes in Nepal, one of its major markets which resulted in gross losses of 2.3 billion shillings, while net retained losses stood at 400 million shillings. Aerio says Zipri plans to leverage on the soon-to-be-launched tripartite free trade area that brings together three trading blocks, namely EAC, SADAC and COMESA, to expand to more countries. What we are doing now is to expand the membership of uh, Zipri, particularly at a time when we have uh, COMESA, the East African community, and also the Southern African development community establishing a tripartite FTA. So it is my expectation uh, that Zebri there will become a tripartite uh, institution in addition to its operations in West Africa, North Africa and other parts of the world. He says with a renewed business confidence globally coupled with a resilient regional economy will consolidate and increase business currently underwritten in their core markets.